Ask Reddit by Louis Shirosa G20. What hobby is an immediate red flag? Does anyone on Reddit understand what a hobby is? Or a red flag? The only thing I have learned from this thread is that Redditors don't know what the word hobby means. That's just our Ask Reddit. Q. What popular person does everyone like except for you? Average Ask Redditor, the Kardashians. Yeah that's right, and I'm not afraid to say it. Is it just me or is this like the 23rd time this has been asked here in the last couple weeks? I'm pretty sure everyone here missed the word hobby. Definitely a red flag. Deleted. Some of you are confusing the word hobby with habit. They ain't the same. Lots of habits you are saying are red flags though, just not the real question here. But in terms of hobby, a red flag hobby, in my opinion, is no hobby at all. Being only a follower of others hobbies but not being into anything yourself is a red flag to me. Not having a hobby is a no no for me. Didn't realize how big of a red flag this was until I dated someone with no hobbies. The biggest issue is that I have a few hobbies that I'm really passionate about. But, my job very quickly in the relationship was to entertain them at all times. Now I only date people who are at least passionate about something they do in their spare time, because I need them to understand that it's normal that I use a lot of my spare time for my hobbies. Cockfighting Cock magic on the other hand. I hate saying this cause I have close friends that are into it, but oftentimes gambling especially since it's usually a very thin line between hobby and addiction. $10 says I don't have an addition. Honestly just in here to see if anything I'm into is flagging. Fortunately no Warhammer 40k so far. Semaphore. That sounds like two red flags to me. Deleted. And by extension, people trying to copy obviously staged videos. Case in point is the below links story. A woman tried to copy or destroy the old system, give them the new one video by destroying her boyfriend's system. It cost her the relationship because he was rightfully unable to trust her after that. Or a TikTok trend. Gambling. I work in a casino. I'll go ahead and confirm that for ya. People get addicted to pressing the button on slots, they don't even care about winning or losing. They just wanna feel like they might win. Deleted. Collecting alcoholic beverage containers, especially the same one over and over. Had a buddy who called theirs Beer Mountain. Collecting nail clippings. Hey Kira. My older brother once said his hobby is smoking cigarettes. Not sure if that's a red flag or just sad. Edit. He rolls his own because it's cheaper. He literally has to construct the cigarette to smoke it and he probably smokes 8-12 a day. A Marlboro red flag. Deleted. I have a good story about this. I had an English teacher in middle school. He was a very Jewish older man. He had a huge collection of Nazi memorabilia. I asked why? He said I preserve this so no one ever forgets. His grandfather and father started the collection and he kept it going. He didn't do it out of admiration or respect but for the preservation of the terrible atrocities. He organized a trip to the St. Petersburg, FL, Holocaust Museum. An entire museum full of middle school kids. Nobody spoke and we all cried. That is all. Essential oil obsession. I'm amazed no one has said drinking yet. Sure you can be a connoisseur of fine alcohol but there are other people who think getting shit faced to natty lights on a regular basis is a hobby. That's just alcoholism. I'm not having a glass of wine. I'm having six. It's called a tasting and it's classy. Smoking weed and making that your personality. Like, 
I have nothing against weed and have done it myself many times but I just can't stand the stoners whose whole life revolves around it and act like it's a miracle cure for everything. I've generally found that anyone who makes their personality about that one thing is annoying as hell. Be it weed, guns, parenting, working out, sports, warhammer, you name it. And when they land on a new thing it's like, oh shit, here we go again. Being into history isn't a red flag, but when it translates to the Roman Empire was a perfect society with no issues or flaws, that's a, yeesh. As a person being into history myself I couldn't take anyone seriously who drops such a sentence while claiming to know a lot about this topic at the same time. Making stage TikTok vids. Hard cringe. Teeth collection. No a teeth collection is very nice very evil. Crypto. Not I have a few bitcoins, but the ones who think crypto will save the world. Most crypto bris I've met were annoying, insufferable dudes. I've got a friend who hounds me every time we talk to invest. I'm like, no stop I don't care. Being a reddit or discord mod. Oligal adverse bangs attorneys who will call out bad advice from non-attorneys. Child beauty contests. Those thing are raw degeneracy, egocentrism and leave a fucking time bomb inside the child's mind. Anybody who looks at their child and thinks I could turn you into a totstitute and sexualize you for the sake of my own pride needs help, or a good kick. Deleted. I dated a girl in high school that was in pageants. Her whole family was wacko. Anything involving humiliation of other, non-consenting, people or enjoying suffering of other people. Making mean prank videos, for example. Or watching videos like look at this loser doing something stupid. It's different if the video creator themselves pokes fun of themselves, because they consent. Prank videos are the worst because their whole shtick is watch this person freak out when I do something completely unreasonable to them as if it's the victim's fault. Haha you got mad when you thought I fucked up your life. Hilarious. Worshippers of hustle culture and fake financial gurus. They seem to just fall into one scam after another like drop shipping, YouTube automation, then to some crypto scheme. The key to making money online is to become a content creator that talks about making money online, to then inspire more people to do the same, act. It's like an organically formed MLM. Huffing, and attempting to make meth. What about huffing, and successfully making meth? Making one hobby their entire personality. I live in a town where someone has SCRPBKR as their license plate. Hollywood celebrity sports worship. Like, fine if you are a fan but if everything in your life is Star Wars themed, Kim Kardashian themed, or NY Yankee themed I don't think we will be compatible. The one person who's insanely passionate about Star Wars, Kim and Amp, the Yanks, you just crushed their self esteem. Spamming on social media. You mean my 457 memes I shared because I thought they were funny and people might enjoy them is a red flag? Well, I never. Killing for sport, she a la be enough. Brandishing an axe, she a la be enough. Russian roulette. IDK. I'm willing to give it a shot. Voluntarism or beggar backpacking. It is usually people from well-off countries going to poor countries and they are generally seen as a drain to in those countries worst part is how proud these people are of themselves ugh. They're also frequently from well-off families and like to LARP as hippies homeless in between semesters. As someone who lives in LA, honestly? Any girl that calls herself an influencer. Not just LA I live in Bangkok at the moment and the number of people I meet who say they are influencers when they mean I'm unemployed but well dressed is truly startling. I've even had it come up in job interviews. 
I asked a candidate recently what she'd been doing in the 18 months since leaving university and she said she'd built 80,000 followers as an influencer. I asked her how she'd monetize that and she flat out didn't understand what I meant. She'd just spent a year and a half taking photos of herself in big white hats for likes. Posting everything, everything, everything on social media. I had a co-worker who texted me at 4am on my only day off, begging me to work for them because they were super sick with a stomach bug and I was their only hope. I felt bad, so I agreed to take their shift. They were super appreciative and promised that they would make it up to me. I ended up having a fucking terrible day, and on my only 10 minute break during my 12 hour shift, I saw that they had posted on Facebook that they were so excited about their impromptu mental health day and were pondering whether they should marathon some Netflix and have a glass of wine or take a bath and have a glass of wine. Edit, thanks for the awards y'all. I'm sorry to hear that so many of you have had similar frustrating situations arise at work. Cheers to boundaries. Playing Destiny 2, reference I play Destiny 2. I've recently kicked my destiny to addiction. I've been clean a whole 24 hours. People who scroll this far down in these sorts of posts. Shit. Crafting furniture made from human skin. Skin furniture? Don't be ridiculous think of the smell. You haven't thought of the smell you bitch.